Big news from Metro Detroit and General Motors. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis, the automaker investing in electric. GM says it's building a huge new electric vehicle battery lab in Warren. The announcement coming just about a week after Ford's historic announcement of new EV plants in Tennessee and Kentucky. And 7 Action News reporter Darian Cunningham exploring the impact of GM's investment in Wayne County. GM says the Wallace Battery Lab here under construction will bring together a variety of thinkers, experts coming together to push EV technology forward. The Wallace Center could be described as the missing link to go from concept to production. Going up on GM's Global Technical Center in Warren, Tim Grew says the Wallace Center will work to improve battery life for electric vehicles, essentially allowing drivers to travel further before needing to recharge. The goal, 500 to 600 miles on a single charge. He says the 2022 Hummer EV, for example, will get about 350 miles. We're going to make the next generation batteries here that make it even better to be a step up from what we have today. Gru says the goal is also to drive costs down. In the process, he says a number of jobs will be needed at the facility, from building operations to researchers, developers, and hundreds of engineers. With all of the recent news from the Big Three about the race to develop and improve electric vehicles, Business professor Eric Gordon at the University of Michigan says there's a shift in automotive skills in demand. So one set of skills is going to go into decline, but people who understand electric motors are going to be in demand. People who are going to understand the sensor and electronic control systems that control the motors so that the car goes straight. You don't have one wheel going faster than the other wheel. And for battery development? Another skill would be a pure scientist that comes in with the next greatest idea, whether it be an electrolyte or a lithium metal idea that's going to come in and then work with the manufacturing engineers to say, well, how do I actually make that at scale and make that at speed? I'm told the plan is for this facility to be fully up and running by the third quarter of next year. In Warren, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.